What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna work on formatting the post page for our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna work on formatting the output of our blog post. You can see there's just big chunks of text and that's no good. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49. $49. That is insanely cheap. Okay, we are on day four of the horrible gash in the forehead, and it is healing up pretty good actually today. Woke up and it was a lot better. So hopefully over the weekend, this will heal up more and you won't have to look at it anymore. It is Friday here in Vegas. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna be 80 something degrees. And uh, this one's gonna be a little bit of a short video because it's Friday and it's gonna be 80 degrees and I wanna get out there and ride my bicycle and stuff. Sounds like fun. Uh, that's all you can do in the time of uh, pandemic. But in this video, I want to talk a little bit about this formatting for our blog post page. So, you know, I've got this in the last video, I talked about making the snippet that shows up on the home page a little bit smaller. And you can see it's cutting off the text here. And if you miss that, we could just go to our home.html and look for the part where we put we put the post.body on the screen. And then I just added this little helper thing that says slice from zero to 200 characters. If you want more than that, you can put 300 characters, 500 characters. If you want less than that, you can put 50 characters, whatever you want. And we're eventually gonna break this apart and create a separate sort of snippet that we can write when we create a blog post. But until we do that, this will work just fine. Now, the next thing to look at is the output of the blog post themselves. So you can see, this is just a big long block of text. And I'm actually going to, let me log in here real quick. And uh, let me delete this post. Yep. And now let's create a new one. And I just want to grab some lorem ipsum text. And this is just dummy text uh, that you use for design purposes. So let me type lorem ipsum into Google. And we can go to a lorem ipsum generator. And we could come down and let's say, let's create five paragraphs worth. So we'll generate this. And this is just like, you know, junk text that we can copy, right? So let's go ahead and copy this and bring it back and let's create a new blog post. And I'm gonna call this lorem ipsum text and the title is gonna be gibberish <laughs> and the author is gonna be me and then I'm just gonna paste all this in. Now notice we've got some spacing between the paragraphs, right? It's nice, nice spacing. But when I click post and then click on this thing, it's just all one big huge block of text. And the reason that is is because by default, Django will escape out HTML, right? Because if you're allowing other people to make blog posts, you may or may not want them to be able to put HTML formatting in their blog text, uh, in their blog posts, because sort of uh, some people could maybe use HTML to inject hacker type things into your blog. You know, this is getting saved on the database. So if you're allowing HTML, you're allowing sort of almost like executable stuff to go onto your database, which can be problematic if people want to hack your website. So by default, Django just doesn't allow HTML to come through on your blog post. Now we can change that fairly simply by just modifying our code a bit. And we want the article details page. Now let's clean some of this up a little bit. We want in the blog templates, article details. And this is the article detail page of all of our blog posts, if you remember. And we can come down here and find the post body and we can just use that little helper pipe again and then just type safe. Now if we save this and come back here and take a look at this again, nothing has actually changed. We hit reload, nothing has changed. That's because we click edit, you'll notice there's no HTML here, right? These are just spaces, Those, that's not HTML. What we need to do now is actually add the HTML that we want. So let's give this a P tag and then a closing P tag. Right, and then we can just give every one of these paragraphs their own P tag. P stands for paragraph, and they all need to be closed. So we can have our closing P tag, do that, and that, and that, and okay. Now if we update this, first thing you're gonna notice is this P tag is being shown on our homepage. So we're gonna have to tweak that a bit. 
But if we click on this now, boom, you can see you have nice paragraphs because that HTML is no longer being escaped out. So very cool and uh, pretty simple. Now we can use all HTML, right? So if we head back over here and well, let's actually edit the page itself. We can go edit if we want, you know, the first few things to be bold, we can do that. We update that. Come back now it's bold, right? Anything you want with HTML. Uh, these are all kind of raggedy edges there. If we wanted to add a P uh, align equals justify, we could do that for this one update. Come back. See now it's all nice and even along there for this paragraph. That's kind of cool. Whatever you want to do, you can do now. Obviously, like I said, our home page is a little weird. We've got this, you know, our snippet is wrong. If we head back to our snippet on our home.html page. So what we could do here is again, just go add this and go safe. If we save this head back, hit reload. Now we're getting the HTML that comes through there. So, uh, you know, it just sort of depends. Now this is probably not great. You probably don't want HTML like this coming through because it kind of messes with formatting and stuff. So I think in the future, we're going to have to create a new field in our database to create the actual snippet itself instead of just relying on, you know, this slice thing, which is not a great way to do it. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. Uh, we'll sort of see how it goes. So, uh, that's how you allow HTML. Uh, let's go back to our article detail page. Just use this safe little helper, the Django helper, I call them. I don't know what they're actually called, but they seem like a helper. A lot of programming, a lot of web frameworks call things like this helper. So that's in my mind, it's a helper. That may actually be the word for it, the phrase for it. I don't know. I haven't bothered to look it up, but <laughs> it works, whatever it's called. So uh, pretty cool. And as I mentioned, it's Friday here in Vegas, so this is going to be a short one. And so that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.